Look, sir. Hold on. Just say that again, just so it's recorded, Bobby. So I have that. Listen, you are smarter than you look, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. And so I love to start with when someone makes me laugh like that, because I, I can see the truth in that. <laughs> uh, the other thing is this. So the, the plan is this. And Annie, just a cue. A heads up, Annie, on just for camera work. It's if you're moving around, it's good to turn your video off so that we don't move around with you. And if you're running a Zoom class, that's a good idea for anyone to do. You know, just yes, let the group know if you're if you're moving, turn the camera off. Uh, uh, but for uh, this, for this, video off. Yeah, so. video off. Yeah, exactly. For this particular call, so here's here's the plan. And well, first I'll empower you are all emperors and empresses so you I'm have like this already <laughs> and, and I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> i was afraid i'd see that in your face bobby um it's uh, it almost feels a little dangerous giving that to bobby so, i'm kind of excited here let's go baby <laughs> so if you like something one thumbs up if you're kind of so so on it you can do this or kind of halfway yeah you give it a you know oh, let's go no mm. if you don't like it thumbs down and if you uh, really don't like it and want to cut my head off, two <laughs> thumbs down. <laughs> if you really like it, two thumbs up. So that that's our plan. Do you guys feel empowered? I do. <laughs> I can only speak for myself. Pamela does. <laughs> Pamela's definitely, Bobby's definitely empowered. Jackie's given a virtual empowered. Patricia's empowered. Annie's back. Mm -hmm. She's waving. Oh, she's sideways. She's, she's like, mm, not so sure. Okay. So here's, here's the game plan again for today. 90 second check in. You get to say whatever you want in 90 seconds. And I'm going to time you and it's going to be cut off at 90 seconds. In, in that, I would suggest you work on your speaker skills or tell a story. But later also, probably after a couple exercises, we're going to give you two to three minutes work on your own content. And then, some, then a little bit of feedback. Um, between that, we're definitely going to do mystery, emotions, description, and probably 185. I doubt if we'll get time for new choice, but we might do new choice. How does that sound to my emperors and empresses out there? I like everything except for the 185. I would rather do new choice. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we make a new choice on that. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that. So let's, let's start the check-in. Who would like to start their 90-second check-in? I'll go. Okay. You, you, tell, you tell me when, and, and I'll go. Bobby, you're up. So first, I just want to start very quickly by expressing my gratitude for what this group has allowed me to do. And what it's allowed me to do is to see how that I can bring everything that I'm learning here into the corporate space where I'm working and where my income is coming from and how I can be an entrepreneur while I'm preparing to be an entrepreneur. The skills are transferable. They're easily translatable as demonstrated by a text that I received from my manager this morning that says, I'm on a leading cultural change WebEx you are my partner in this and have already started part of the process. Well, unbeknownst to me, I'm her partner. I, I didn't know I was her partner, but obviously she sees something in me that would allow her to believe that I would make a great partner for leading cultural change. I have consistently demonstrated to the individuals in my company and hopefully to this group that I believe that anything is possible. And that if we will change, just like my mentor, Jim Rohn said, if we will change, everything will change for us. That's it. That's it. That's a minute 13, Bobby. You rocked it. <laughs> All right. Well, who's up next? Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome very much. <laughs> All right. Now. Have you ever thought you needed ADH medication, but it was your child who was taking it? <laughs> My life, like many of yours, has been a whirlwind, an absolute tornado of activity, of, of confusion, of frustration. And yet, I have taken the time to appreciate those precious moments 
-hmm. When my daughter shares her soul with me, like at night before going to bed, when she tells me why it takes her so long to find the perfect song out of her 1,000 YouTube video songs. <laughs> yeah. When she shares with me why she likes a certain boy that she hasn't even met <laughs> on the scene of her walks. Are you open to those little gifts amid the confusion and busyness of your life? Make sure you are. Because if you lose those moments, they're precious and they'll never be back. Just look for them. They are there. <laughs> ah. Yes. Yeah. Oh That's my gosh. Yeah. One, guys. Yeah. yeah, that was a minute 15. And uh, yeah, you, we, I think do this too just came to me. If you really love someone uh, that's something doing, I think a little clapping is okay, but also thumbs up so they can see it if we all have it in gallery view. Uh, Chris, Chris, were you going to uh, make an introduction? Could you introduce Pamela to us? Because obviously we really don't know her. <laughs> no, I, I've seen that in her and uh, glimpses of that. And that's when it comes out like that, Pamela, whoa, I, I'm, I'm getting more excited about this format now than ever. Bobby, yes. So Pamela, just so we're absolutely clear, that was me just teasing and playing. This is the you that... You know, they have that saying, I'm not sure why it's bee to a honey because it's really not bee to a honey. It's more like bee to pollen or bee to nectar or whatever, but you get the idea. This is your, this is your sweet spot. This is your zone of genius. When you're in the moment like you were just now, you had me and everybody else in the palm of your hand waiting for the very next word to come out of your mouth because it was pure magic. <laughs> So if you will embrace that side of you that you just were bold enough to share with all of us so concisely and so eloquently, you will move your audience and they will crave, I mean, like literally they're going to be craving kind of like the same way we crave, you know, anything that we, you know, you have a sweet tooth, right? You know, you want a piece of licorice or whatever. It's that same kind of thing. It's going to make them want more and you're going to give them just enough that they want to come back to your next webinar or your next Zoom call to get the rest of it. Hmm. And that's how you're going to grow into everything that I just witnessed just now that was absolutely miraculous. Yeah, you rocked it, Pamela. You brought in emotion. You brought in mystery. You brought in humor. You brought in patience. You brought a lesson of mindfulness all in a minute and 15 seconds. And, and I learned that yesterday. Thank you. And um, I just want to say quickly that all I knew was how I was going to open that up. I didn't know the rest. I it love that. It came to me in the moment. I love that. Yes. I knew I got those gifts yesterday after we got off the call, but I it just had to feel them in the moment. By the way, that was really powerful for me as well just to be a part of that. And that's the power of this group. That's the power of Speaker Skills Plus. Speaker Skills Plus puts you in a position, it puts you in the scene where you actually get to learn from what's happening for other people. I'm not it's, gonna cut you off there, Bobby. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying, I mean, that's really what it's about. It's like, okay, how do I take myself out of my own head, put myself into what's happening in the dialogue that's happening right now between the two people that are on the screen, and how do I experience some of what's happening for them, <laughs> for myself? Absolutely. Yeah. So you said it really well, Bobby, and I love it, and it's true. And Pamela, so that's getting me excited about this new format is this to bring it all the skills we've done in the other classes bring it in the 90 seconds you don't have to be perfect you can vent you don't have to do this but play with these skills over and over again and it's going to become second nature it's going to just come to you mysteries emotion connection humor and you're going to have people that was a rock in minute 15 pamela um i wish well, i wish it was recorded oh wait it is how cool is that well Who's we don't know that? where those recordings are who is up next? <laughs> They're in the cloud. <laughs> I will go up next, but I don't want you to record it. Um, it's being recorded, Annie. Uh, let me do this. Let me, you go last, and then we'll um, I'll right. shut it down for a minute. Okay. Who's ready? Oh, God. Okay, I'll go. Okay. I love this. Yeah, Patricia. 
I love this. Oh, have you ever been frustrated around the internet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have been yeah. so frustrated around the internet. <laughs> and finally, yeah. I got a hold of a customer service rep after waiting about half an hour for Fox. And he did not sound really happy. <laughs> so where are you calling from? He said, I'm in Jamaica. I went, Jamaica? Said, yeah, of course I called like at one o'clock in the morning our time. Anyway, uh, I, I explained to him that my internet was not working and I had just gotten a brand new modem and I don't understand why it wasn't working. So I was on the phone with this fellow, no joke, for an hour and a half, an hour and a half. I never, ever say, can I speak to your supervisor? I, I put it, you got 30 seconds, Pamela. Hey, it pushed me right up to my limit. So I asked for a supervisor, and the supervisor got on the phone with me. And in another 45 minutes, we figured out that when I got my modem and I called for help to set it up, they didn't set it up properly. So finally, it's all set up and ready to go. And hopefully, I'm not going to have any dropped words or bad pictures. Thank you. Good job. It's a great question. I think anyone had trouble with internet, you could always start something like that and get most of your audience in on that one. Yeah. Jackie, are you ready to roll? Yes. Oh, look out now. We got the pillow. It's pillow get talk pillow time. Jackie back. Go pillow. Go pillow. Go pillow, Jackie. You thought you'd seen the last of it yesterday, Bobby. I did. I thought I'd seen the last of it. It's okay. We know, we know you're a night owl. We know your creativity happens in the late hours. All right, Pat. Jackie, go now. I opened my mouth and it was magic. I was singing, harmonizing with a friend that I had never got to sing with before. And it was incredible. This was last night. There were mics, there were amps. I was playing on the keyboard and it was amazing this is last night i was so excited i got home i watched a a british detective episode with my parents i cuddled with Tyrion. i went to sleep not as late as you might think bobby <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden 30 seconds. i woke up with a horrible pain in my stomach. Oh. So bad that I had to take pain medication. But I'm here. <laughs> Thank you for being here. A minute 15. Uh, I'll check in quick and then we'll go to Annie. Uh, start my own timer. Can I, Chris, Chris, real quick, can I just, yeah, Jackie, I want to commend you. This is really important. That's, I yeah. just wanted to take a quick second to say this. Half the battle in life, half the battle in life is just showing up. You're here. This was important enough to you to be here. That says more than you could ever express in words. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you for saying that, Bobby. Yeah. And I do appreciate um, uh, Jackie, whether she's up off her pillow or on her pillow. And actually, when after <laughs> your story, I appreciate it even more, like Bobby said, to, to be here. Yeah. So, so thank you for doing that. So, Happy to. I'll give my quick check in and then we'll go to Annie. Do you want me to do the timer, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Way to go, Pamela. Woohoo! I uh, like it. Keeping them honest. Hey, give me like the, the, the 30 seconds and 15 seconds to go type warning. Okay. Yeah, when, you, when you do, could you give it to him with two thumbs down? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ready? I'm ready. Go. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe she just said this to me. Um, it, it's like she doesn't even know me. And she spouted out the words, you could learn Canva. <laughs> And I snapped. 
I snapped. I snapped at her. The girl I love, I snapped. Because she knows. Canva. I've watched her use Canva. That could take, she's done things in hours that would take me 10 hours. It was like I had a presentation that I'm doing tomorrow. And she says, you could learn Canva? No. <laughs> it just So here's brought up my fear of process, fear of, oh my gosh, I'm going to be stuck in this Canva nightmare forever, and I'm not going to accomplish anything. I'm going to be crazed when I come out of it. It's going to be nuts. I did take a moment. I did then go to uh, apologize for my snappiness. 30 seconds. And good thing is she forgave me and actually said, hey, get over here. <laughs> Thank you for being soft. And I appreciated that. And it brought that connection back. But I realized any little thing can tweak you, snap you, and the Canva does freak me out. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> so it's 85 seconds. All right. Now, Annie, do you want the recording off? I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I don't want anybody to see this. It's so negative. I'm feeling so negative that I don't want to bring the whole thing down with my chat. That's why I don't want it on. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right now. Or I'll pause it, actually, I can do that. Too, and to feel what I was feeling. And then what you say at the end is, and then I remembered the quote. And then I remembered the quote. And sometimes what we need in life is we need a little more reminding than we do need instructing. I didn't need to be instructed on anything. I just needed a gentle reminder. Hope is like the sun which as we journey towards it, casts the shadow of burden behind us. Behind us. Very nice. Now think about if you shared that with the group right after you just shared everything that you shared from the bottom of your heart, you just poured that out of you. But then all of a sudden you gave them this vision, you know, off in the distant future, or maybe not so distant future of hope. And Jackie shared actually some practical advice and hope in the chat. If she wants to say it out loud, she can do it that as well. Um. Sure. <laughs> so Annie, um, this is actually some advice that I got from um, Scott. And that is to call up your credit card company or your car payment company, whatever, and request a deferral. And I have done that, and they will usually defer your payments for up to three months. Yep. Okay. So it's yep. definitely worth calling. Get and, a little and breathing room. Get yourself a little that, breathing room. That's yeah. on my list of things to do today because I had heard that somewhere. So, so Annie, yeah. I want you to think about this for just a second. How will it feel inside when you can actually check that off your list. You know, there's not a lot of things we have control of maybe throughout the whole day when things, but that one thing you can pick up the phone, right? And you can make that call. I would actually write it down too. I would, I mean, if you don't have it like physically written down, I would write it down. And then after you do it, I would take and I would draw a line through it and put a check mark by it. And that will give you a sense or a feeling of accomplishment. Like you actually got something done that makes a difference. And then after that's done, I would also take a nice deep breath and breathe in that moment and that feeling of, okay, now that's off my plate. Now, what is it that I really want to do right now? And if that's to go take a walk, then go take a walk. If it's to go play in the dirt, then go play in the dirt, right? Well, and I want to share this too. It's, it's what I feel when I do it. And I love the phrase that, that and Bobby triggered it back. It is a very good phrase. Breathe like the fearless. And, and you can actually almost take pot without taking pot. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine this, that you just do this and do just test how you are right now and then notice how you feel afterward. Is you just do. <laughs> do that. Everyone that on the call that wants to do that, go ahead and do that. It feels good, actually. I just want you all to know that I'm not going to throw 30 years out the window to do this. <laughs> you don't. We're doing imaginary stuff, Bobby, here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's too close. All right. I feel you. And thank you for sharing that vulnerability, too, right there, Bobby. Yeah. 
And Thank so you. I think in part of what people said in this is this, is that we're actually not addicted to the substance. We're addicted to feeling fearless, peaceful, and we don't have it most of the time. In that deep breath that actually is telling your body, there is nothing to fear in this moment. And well, inspired by you now, Chris, I will just go ahead and... <laughs> Jackie gave you a thumbs up there. <laughs> Let it out, Bobby. Let it out. <laughs> <laughs> but, but don't inhale. But I don't inhale. Don't inhale. Oh. <laughs> I, with, with the breathing fearless, you need to inhale. Yeah, you, you need don't to have inhale. to mimic Before. that. But I think it's breathing in so deeply like you're pulling it all in, holding it for a little bit, and then letting it all go. Yeah. Yeah. Annie, in, in all seriousness, regarding what Chris just said and everything, truly, now here's an interesting thing when you stop and think about it. So on the 4th of July of this yeah, 20 year. 20 seconds to deliver this, Bobby. And the 4th of July of this year, I will have accumulated 30 years of sobriety. Now here's the interesting thing. I accumulated those years one day at a time. I didn't just magically or miraculously have 30 years. Anything that we do in our lives, Annie, we're going to do one day at a time. Sometimes we're going to do it one moment at a time. Yeah. Just for today, Annie, let that be your mantra for today. Just for today. Excellent. Just so, for today. And, and I would encourage so that you can take a lot of lessons of, from Bobby, and I would take him up on that phone call of mm -hmm. there's lessons in doing this. And we can get, we can break up with the, uh, the need to be controlling everything, the need to be right, the need to be fearful about all these things. Things will work out. Who on this call has survived so far in their life? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the evidence is that we're here, just so yeah. everybody knows. <laughs> In case you were wondering. <laughs> yeah. So I want to jump into this, if everyone's good with it. Um, either mystery and senses, and then go into our, a quick version of our stories. Is that good with people? Or do you want to start with your stories? Mystery. Mystery. Okay. Yeah, mystery sounds All right. Fun. Let's do mystery. And again, your mystery can be one sentence opener. You don't have to fill in the blanks afterwards. It could be a, a paragraph. But think about just one sentence mystery. Who's got a mystery to start us off? Pamela looks ready. Yes, okay. she does. All right. Ready? Yep. Yes. There I was sitting in the middle seat between two men. And I was having this discussion with myself. Was I saying the words out loud? Oh, my gosh. Did I forget where I was? I kept saying, you need to do this. But then this other voice in my head said, no, you don't. In fact, this would be the worst decision of your life if you did this. But I knew in my heart, my soul, that I had to do this. And it didn't matter who was sitting on either side of me. And it didn't even matter if they heard what I was going to be saying. I was practicing the words that I was going to say to my parents tomorrow morning. Words that I was afraid they would not take well. That they might say, out of our house, we never want to see you again. You, are, you shame us. You embarrass us. How could we have raised a child like you? That's what I was fearful of. What if they did? What if they did? Could I even, could I even exist anymore? Without them, who was I? Who was I without my parents, without my sisters, without my family, without my friends? Yet, I had something I needed to say that would change my life and perhaps theirs forever. Okay, practice a little more, a little more, a little more practice. <clears throat> okay, men, they're listening. No, I'm not speaking out loud, am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I think this is all in my head. I. I Am I even on an airplane? <laughs> okay, so here's the story, guys. I was flying across the United States from San Diego to Philadelphia to tell my parents, what? <laughs> I'm gay, mom and dad, I'm gay. Yeah, how many of you 
have had all that self-talk before you could actually say those words. Well, if you're like me, it was years, years of self-talk, but I had to do it. Pamela, a great opening, um, powerful. You're, you kept the mystery going a long time, and I like that, which builds up the tension. So your mystery went actually from sentence to sentence. And you, I love, so also, I would encourage us all to work on what Pamela did there is the self-talk. Because who likes hearing someone's inner dialogue? Well, let's do this. Yeah. It's, there's something, it's like we're let in on a secret. So when you play with that inner dialogue and you turn your inner dialogue into a mystery as well, that was mystery upon mystery. So I, I loved it. Was it two minutes? No, we're not doing two minutes of that. This was just quick. Is it? Oh, but, sorry. No, but no, no. It was so good. I'm glad Chris didn't interrupt you. <laughs> no, so okay. now, it's it's perfect. What that you was my like two minute talk. I love it. It was beautiful. It, it was. was. So you kept mystery upon mystery of it. And you set scenes. You did many good things in that. So this is a great trigger for uh, multiple mysteries you created in that for us. Are to you still? Are you recording now? Yeah. Of course, I'll never hear it, right? I know. Oh, no. oh, wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out. All recordings are available when they're requested. You just have to request them. This is very, very, this is very important. You, you just need to understand this is really, I mean, all recordings are in the cloud and available. They will be pulled from the cloud as they are requested. So you, you want to go on camera as making a formal request for this? Um, I request the recording from mm -hmm. 4.30. Ooh, <laughs> nothing like a little bit of. So let me ask you too. I need to get clarification. So I've been um, some of these I've been posting public. Let me know if you want me to make these private or unlisted as well, or if you're okay with public. So let me <laughs> ask you the question right now. Who would like? Who's okay with this being public? Thumbs up, thumbs sideways, thumbs down. Okay. I guess. Okay. So <laughs> Bobby, I will. Uh, I will end this one. I will, I will, I will post it to you too. <laughs> oh, Pamela. I had to Thank control you. it. I had to control Who saw what Pamela did? Ready? Yeah, here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> but who saw what Pamela did? It was awesome. She thumb wrestled? She was yeah. wrestling with herself. On the uh, like, uh, Actually, I want everyone to do that right now. And you feel the intent, I want you to do this. Feel what it's like in you that, yes, you want to say yes, which is up, but there's a part of you that's pulling it down. So let's all do that. Oh, yeah. You put it out there, yes, and then you go, then you, the, the second thought comes out, and then you go, oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm losing it. <laughs> give me back, give me back to positive. <laughs> <laughs> really fight it. See my tension? It's real. <laughs> and I'm serious, Patricia. Um, <laughs> do this. If you do, if you do this, so watch the tension in my body. Does this look real? Watch. I'm so weird. Yeah. My muscles are really working right now. <laughs> Butt <I'm> muscles? <laughs> I'm Pamela. <laughs> I'm, I'm really fighting myself in that I'm there and it makes it more real when you do it versus are you teaching us right now did you just teach us some I improv just now I might be that was pretty sneaky <laughs> so Pamela created something really funny in that then you can add to it it's like we did this in improv and we do it let's do this right now too we are all playing tug of war with each other and imagine, so you, I want to feel, I want you to feel like there's real tension in the rope and that you need to pull it. Your whole body gets tight and you are actually pulling the rope. Do that right now. Oh. Let it go. Let it go. Now, who who feels um, better letting that go? I'm actually flushed. I got flushed with that. I'm flushed. I'm sweating a little bit. Yeah. It's better amazing turn the AC on. how much exercise you can get 
in doing imaginary <laughs> tug of war <laughs> if you're really into it. Yeah. So it, it's a powerful thing. I encourage you guys to do things like that. So Pamela triggered a, a, an incredible funny thing for me <laughs> to fight this, this up and down thing that I might actually use on a webinar tomorrow. Who knows? If oh, I, I, I can see this when you empower the people and say, now, guys, I want you to understand. Sometimes I know from my own personal experience, it's going to be like, I want to put my thumb up, but oh, I really don't want to put my thumb what's happening wait a minute oh oh no 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 Ugh. yeah i can see you doing that chris i can well, see I you could, I, I might even do this it, because people are uh lax to participate on webinars especially yeah. you can't see them and i know some of you at home are doing this you know it's just too tough to hit the a button as a, a thumbs up your your finger just can't move forward i don't know what's wrong it just can't hit the a key to show me a thumbs up or even the V key for a thumbs down, it's just too far away, isn't it? You know? A key. Yeah, A key. Well, here's here's what I'm Is looking at. Is that how Jackie's here. doing the thumbs up, thumbs down thing? Jackie, give well, us a That's in reactions. Tutorial. That's down there in reactions. There's only one reaction of thumbs up. So here's uh -huh. what I'm, I'm looking for is actually on the webinar as it's put, there's only even a hand raise on the particular platform I'm doing. If you have oh. a better key for me to use, so right now I'm looking to use the A key as thumbs up and the V key as thumbs down. Well, what happens when you do that? It, it just will go in the chat and I have a co-moderator. Oh, okay. So my, my hope is that there, I don't think there's gonna be thousands of people on the call because there was only a few um, responses in the chat yesterday. Yeah. But if there's even dozens of people on the call, I want most of them to participate. So the goal is to get him to hit the A key for thumbs up, V key for thumbs down. And my moderator said, oh, you're getting a lot of thumbs up there. Oh, there, oh, everyone's thumbs down now. Um, to get and, and, you can, and you can, and then you can throw the question mark. And if you just can't make up your mind, then just feel free to hit the question mark. All right, <laughs> good, yeah, perfect. Well, I, want to, I want to share something real quick on Christian's call number six the other day. Mm -hmm. Um, it brought I'm to impressed mind, that you know that it was call six, by the way. That is pretty remarkable. Well, it was a bonus call. Anyway, um, it was where he asks anybody who wants to have some healing done on them. And I've been in his audience. I've taken his, I'm an instant miracle master. Uh, just so you know, I'm an instant miracle master. Anyway, um, and I, I hardly ever do the miracles on myself, but I need to start doing it. So when you're in the audience and Christian says, who out there wants to have healing? I... I'm always like this. Everyone's got their hands shot up. And I'm like, because I know I'm going to get picked. For some reason, I know when I'm going to get picked. And I know when I'm not. I don't know. It's my intuition. So I want to get picked because I want the healing. But I'm also very afraid to get up there and show my vulnerability. And maybe there's this part of me that doesn't want to get healed. I don't know. But that's kind of a good story to tell because you know when you are a speaker and you've got an audience and you ask a question if it's something that's vulnerable or going to put them in a vulnerable spot or embarrass them or they think it's going to embarrass them among their friends or colleagues they may not want to do this or this they that's a great like, story to like tell and, and so i would agree kind of, so hold on so you yeah. might want to say i know a lot of you probably really wanted to raise your hand when i offered this However, there's something that's keeping you back, something holding you back, something that's making you resist. And I'd like to suggest that if you didn't have any resistance about this, would your answer be, yes, pick me? Or would it be, mm, I'm a little nervous. So anyway, just, just something that I thought about yesterday. And no, That's big, Pamela. So everyone should have their version of that story to get your audience to participate and play. My friend does a whole story around it. He plays Billy and Johnny. And Billy's a character that uh, goes all through Disneyland and rides every ride. And Johnny sits on the bench and is upset that he doesn't get to ride around. Johnny Bench? Stop and it. Play, and he plays it all out. And, you know, full action, up the roller coaster, down, teacup, spins, and gets sick. <laughs> get, actually gets sick. <laughs> Brings his Slurpee, throws it away, recycles, does the whole thing. And he goes, the lesson in that is participation equals value. And if you're not participating as much, you're not going to get as much value out of it. And that's true of life. 
I mean, of honestly. life, this call, all kinds of things. So have your version of that story of, you know, do you participate? Do you raise your hand? Why don't you raise your hand? And part of it is this, in the fear, we're attached to our beliefs and there's actually an attachment to some of our crappy beliefs because we believe our crappy beliefs are us and we can't let them go. So there's a fear even let of go of crappy beliefs because they're us. Now, and being healed, who knows who you'd be if you got healed? Because one of my biggest fears that's left besides Canva, <laughs> and notice that's a callback. Callbacks work. If they triggered emotions before, they work when you bring. One of my fears besides Canva is the fear of actually dropping all the stupid thoughts in my head and stories. Who would I be? Well, that's a really good question for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby, I love you so much. <laughs> I like that. No, okay. So, quick, quick mysteries this time. One sentence to three sentences max. Quick mysteries. Okay. I yes. got one. Okay. I heard the crunch of tires on the gravel as I was sitting alone at dusk in my very remote cabin. I heard the crunch of the car long before I saw the car. Well, I, love I recognized the car and I thought, how the hell did he find me? Mm, nice, very nice. How the hell did he find me? Great line. So we wanna know who he is. And how did he find you kind of where you are a little bit, but I like the sense start with a mystery. I love your sense because I've heard the crunch of, who has heard the crunch of tires on gravel and, and that lives in them? Yeah. So I've heard that. So it's a great um, visual image to start off with or, or hearing uh, sensory perception to start up. Okay, someone else jump in with a mystery, Bobby. The breeze was blowing through the palm trees. The torches were burning. The waves were crashing in and out. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. The scene was majestic. Two bright lights stood off in the distant future with a ladder. A really tall ladder it was about maybe 12 or 14 feet high. And the photographer was climbing up the ladder. Hey, everybody, come over here. Come over here. Us? I'll... And then the announcement came over. Would the party please move to the area where the photographer is on the ladder? So we all did. And we all moved over there. And as we assembled, somebody from the audience said, okay, short people in the front, tall people in the back. We got it. They were setting us up. They were getting ready to take a picture. At least that's what we were told. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite mystery is the very last one in that story, but I love the description. I like sound effects. So if you guys can play sound effects in there and get people in there with all the senses, I, I like the scene setting, especially in the very beginning. And I love the mystery that Bobby left us with at the end. It's actually a really good finish. I'll tell you later. All right. <laughs> uh, who's got a mystery? I do. Okay. I have to. I found myself freezing cold in water up to my chest. How the heck did I get here? Why was I in this water? All I could feel was the tingling in my feet, in my hands. My head was soaking wet, everything, freezing cold. But my anger was not freezing cold. In fact, it was probably the only thing keeping me warm. I knew that once I got out of this water, she was gonna yell at me and yell at me and yell at me. But it wasn't my fault. I didn't grab the gunnels that made our kayak tip over. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I love the line. And you might keep this line, Pamela. 
Um, even though I was freezing cold, my anger wasn't. Mm. Or whatever you said there exactly. Did does anyone, anyone remember her exact line? It was the only thing keeping me warm. Okay, yeah, that's good. Thing keeping me warm. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll know for sure, Chris, when I get the recording. Yeah. <laughs> you will. Oh, the yes, formal you will. request for all the recordings. From <laughs> uh, Patricia, Jackie, which one of you is going now? Hmm. Oh. I can go. All right. Mm. The rain was pelting at me sideways. And that was the reason I wasn't looking down. Actually, the reason I wasn't looking down wasn't just the rain. It was the cars. I wanted to make sure that they could see me as I wove my way through the parking lot. The only problem was I wasn't looking down. And so I couldn't, I couldn't see it. And all of a sudden I found myself flying through the air, landing on my knee. It had slipped. It had slipped into the pavement, not my knee, but the sign. And I hadn't seen it. And the moment that my knee met the pavement, met the sign, I knew that nothing was ever going to be the same. All right. I really, I really like the start. <clears throat> that was the reason I wasn't looking down. And the, the visual of the rain pelting sideways. That was the reason I wasn't looking, even just saying that was the reason I wasn't looking down. And it can turn, that's the reason I missed it. That's the reason I didn't hear what she was really saying. That's the reason that I'm here right now. That's the reason, what, that's the reason is a powerful thing that triggers you. That's the reason I wasn't looking down. That's the reason my life was about to change. So great job, Jackie. Thanks. Patricia. It was very, very hot. I was sweating like crazy. But I was at the beach. And I just laid back in the sand. And I just took in all that heat. And I really, really enjoyed it. As I got up, I walked into the water. And in the distance, I saw what kind of looked like a, I thought it was a dolphin. And, and then it seemed to be getting closer. All of a sudden I felt this terror in my heart. I went, oh, oh my God, this is, that's a shark. I love, I love your shark reaction. Shark. <laughs> this is a shark. It's a shark. Not a baby shark, but a real shark. Jackie's giving you a thumbs up there. It's a shark. I'll give you a quick one, and then we'll, we'll go around again. Um, what was the one? Um, I had five to seven thoughts in my head, and I must have added an eighth because something went terribly wrong. Uh, when I took the first bite, something was way off. I'd never had cereal with orange juice before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's up? Buddy. There was this explosive crash. I had this sense of floating through the air and then darkness. I awoke, I looked around, it was white. My leg hurt. I looked down, 
My leg was straight, but my foot was flopped over. Uh. I knew something was really wrong. I didn't know how I ended up where I was, but I knew it wasn't good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. All right. Quick mystery from someone else. All right, I'll have to jump in then again. I had my, sand, my feet touch the water and all of a sudden I could feel just little tingly things that I've never felt before. And I looked down to my shock and happy surprise. About 50 little minnows were nibbling on my feet. <laughs> I looked both ways, as I was about to cross the alley on my way home. And all of a sudden, as I stepped out into the alley, I heard a whomp, and I felt my knee being pushed sideways. And I looked up. And there was a car there where there hadn't been one before. And my knee hurt like hell. Ouch. We can feel, so we've got these mirror neurons. And even then, I, I don't like these uh, injury stories. But <laughs> they make, just notice, they make your audience feel something when you do them. OK. Yeah. Patricia, Jackie, Pamela. Who's, I Jackie, can go. Jackie is ready. She's come off the pillow. Is she off the pillow? Different perspective. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful voice. So, uh, Thank the you, darling. Different perspective. He looked at me with panic in his eyes. And I knew that I was the only thing that could save him. I kept playing. I kept smiling. I kept looking at him. And I started singing his part. I was going to save him. <laughs> love it. I love the opening, too. Who loved that opening? He looked at me with panic in his eyes. Yeah, less than 10 words. Yeah, I was counting them there. Eight words you got to it where you opened up a mystery big enough that you want to find out why. So that that just one line, he looked at me with panic in his eyes, takes you to a mystery. Patricia. I was awakened. I heard. I heard, Trisha, Trisha, get up, get up quickly. And I jumped up, I got out of bed, and my girlfriend was running into the bedroom and grabbing me by the hand, and she said, we must leave, we must leave. And then I realized, then I smelled it, the smoke. And I grabbed my bathrobe and my wallet. And I ran down the hall, and I went outside, and I realized, that my animals were in the house. Oh, I have to go back in. I have to go back in. So I reached to the door. I ran to the front door. And all of a sudden, the picture window burst. And the flames licked out of the house. And I, and I lost my animals. Oh. And he's oh. here. Yeah, he, he's telling you. Yeah. He got upset. <laughs> All right, Pamela, are you there and do you want to throw one out or um, should we go around without you? I, Bobby's, Bobby's got one. I have. As I, as I adjusted my pack for the hundredth time, at least it felt like a hundred, I looked up at the, I looked at my partner. I said, is that the peak? Did you look at the map? How close were the grid lines? My God, this is steep. I love the pack adjustment. 
that felt real to me. And who who loved who loved Bobby's pack adjustment? If you watch if you watch uh, Stephen Colbert, he does a ton of. I, I would encourage even just to watch his monologue. Um, I don't think he does. He does a little bit of stuff with the home stuff, but his old the older shows you can find them on um, YouTube. He does a ton of miming type stuff that that feel real. So I, I encourage you to bring that in. So Annie, did you have a mystery? Yeah. So just real quick, you know, when I did that, I, you know, that came from thinking about this exercise. So once again, I don't know that I would have thought about adding that or doing that, right? If we weren't doing this here. And now I feel like I could actually take that to the stage. And I don't know that I would have felt comfortable with that before. So once again, that's the power of being able to practice here in a safe space and then get feedback. You know, I got thumbs up, you know, I got probably a sideways thumb. I got a quizzical look like I'm, I'm not sure. Mine was, I give you two thumbs up on the pack. So. <laughs> well, thank you for that. I All love right, the, the pack. All right, Annie, Annie, give it to us. Annie, then Pamela. <clears throat> I peeked out the window and I saw his old beat up car. And I knew that my worst fears had come to pass. He had found me. And as I sat, looked at the window, wondering what to do, hoping he hadn't seen me, I saw him get out of the car. Yeah, it was him. And he had a determined look on his face. Mm -hmm. That look that I had come to be so afraid of. That manic, one track, stalking look in his eyes. He had stalked me to the cabin somehow. Pa pause right there. That's really good, Annie, what you just did. Um, the, the one track look, you could see Bobby perk up with that. Um, the, the panic, uh, the the eyes, the way they are, you knew how he was when that, you kept that mystery going like that. Um, Jackie says, I know that look in the chat. It's and just a movie scene, right? Just, yeah. So Annie, you had me thinking like, okay, what movie have I seen? You know, my mind was like searching through the memory banks, trying to think of a scene where I'd seen that in a movie before to know what that looked like. So my mind could actually, you know, create a better picture of it. I didn't even have to go to the movie scene. You know, I've been, um, I've had that look on my own face, I'm sure. And I've seen the look on other people's face like that. of uh, just lost in some kind of emotional um, rage, anger, focus, thinking you're justified and right about everything and determined to confront or say it to someone else or whatever you're going to do. It's not, uh, not a good place to be. I've and seen it on basketball. I have, one basketball more course, lots. I have one more line I was going to add, too. So. Second. What's your last line? Look right into the camera, Annie, with eyes open with this line. That, um, just as he was about to start toward the house, I saw him turn back and open his car door, and what he took out confirmed my worst here. There you go. Yeah. It was actually a summons. <laughs> no, worse than that. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I don't want to think that. Oh, scary. Okay. I hope that wasn't a true story, but. It wasn't, but it was what I thought might happen if I didn't get this guy out of my life. And yeah. so here's what we can do too, if you notice movies again. You can tell the worst story that is what you imagined in your head. And you go, that's why I'd imagine, but what he pulled out of the back of the car was a present. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Or, um, or a sand shovel or what, you know, whatever. Um, not a, a whole spade. You go, <laughs> he pulled out the spade and the, the lie and the bleach. Don't go there. Um, <laughs> that. And, Okay, Pamela, you're up. Sorry, I was gone because I had to get her up and get breakfast for her, so she's eating. Okay. 
I heard my name being called and I knew it was time. This was the reckoning moment. I walked out into the stage and I turned and looked at the crowd. Oh my gosh, were they really here for me? Oh my gosh, butterflies, heart beating fast. I was starting to get really scared. I didn't know what to do next. But the only thought going through this 10 year old brain was, I hope I'd already spelt that word. <laughs> oh man, I love that. That was freaking awesome. All right, uh, we, we're running out of time. My plan is to go to 10.30 with you guys. So we had 16 minutes, so you got a choice. Um, I didn't get to go again. Oh, go Jackie, go. How wooed. I'm listening, Jackie. I'm just, how I'm just taking my how video. Off. I'm not distracted. I'm, I'm actually glad I moved on just to hear Jackie say how wooed. How wooed. <laughs> how wooed you are. How wooed. Too much Star Wars lately. It's very wooed. It's very wooed. Wooed of you. All right, Jackie. Okay. I waved and turned around. Was I really doing this? Was I really leaving everything? I was excited and terrified as my whole life stood before me in two suitcases. I was really doing this. I didn't know anyone, but I was going to make it happen. Yeah, that was yeah. great. <clears throat> That, woo, that was worth it. <laughs> but you have a choice. I'll give you a choice. So here's your choice. Um, since we're running out of time, I'm giving you 90 seconds of work on your own story, or we play New Choice or 185. New Choice. Okay. Bobby, what do you want? I made a commitment to be here until 10.15 because I have a call at 10.30. Okay. So I have to transition out and I'm not ready for that call. But I wanted to make sure I showed up for this because you guys, you guys are important to me. And um, I'm really, really glad I didn't miss it. I mean, really glad I didn't miss it. And Annie, um, my offer to you stands. If you need to reach out, if any of you are feeling anything heavy and you just want to have a sounding board i will sit and i will listen silently or i'll offer a suggestion if you ask thank you bob but, thank no, you I'm, will you I'm, send that link to me please i i will thank you thank you for being here bobby love your energy and play uh, you bring up my playful side very easy and and it felt a little dangerous giving you the emperor power um, <laughs> handled it very well today look for a link as well you guys not just from that but there's a udemy offer today on video it's normally a 200 hundred dollar course it's 10 bucks by two guys that know everything about creating video it walks you through everything. It's $10. We're all gonna be making videos. You know, some courses we invest in, they're very expensive. This is something super, super inexpensive that would be a gift to yourself. I'll send the link out. You could do a preview and see the guys. They know what they're doing. They've been doing it a long time. I think, it, you know, I'm just throwing it out there real quick. You know, I, I, obviously, you know, there's nothing in it for me, but, um, I, I think it's one of those things where, you know, it might be worth a $10 investment. There is something in it for Bobby. You know what it is? The satisfaction of knowing that you guys are moving forward on your path. Bobby loves to be helpful and see how I created a mystery even in that. There is something in it. And Bobby. I actually love that. Love and I actually love that. It Bobby is, loves to be helpful. Is, you know what, Chris? Bobby sent out a link to a free teachable course on Canva. Oh, <laughs> I did, as a matter of fact, send out a free teachable link for Canva. And guess what? Jackie, Jackie. did it. Not only that, she embraced the whole teachable thing, and now she has an entire course that's almost <laughs> ready to go. My Jackie, God. I can't believe you did that to me. I can. I can. <laughs> 
I'm helping you face your fears. All right, I'm out, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks for being here. All right. So I, I think Bobby used his 90 seconds right there. <laughs> um, so who, so your story, 90 seconds of your story or new choice, let's have votes. 90 seconds of your own story, hands up. New choice, hands up. Uh, looks like just you and I want to play hands up. <laughs> okay, so that works. I, we had four on that one, so let's do new choice. I'm gonna, do you guys wanna go into groups so we get it done faster or would you all want it to be in front of each other? In front of each other. Okay. So that, then I'll do, do you want any coaching from me, on, from me on it or what would you like? No. At the end, maybe. Okay. So who uh, wants to go first? Okay. So how is this doing? Uh, uh, is one person going to stop us or are we going to pass the baton around? It'll, that it'll happen, Annie. Just don't worry. So the game is new choice. And Pamela, uh, did you volunteer to go first? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Pamela is going to tell the story. Who would like to new choice her? And when you say new choice, it's just new choice and hand up. So in case Pamela doesn't hear it, she sees it. I will. Okay, Annie. Okay, start your story, and I'll give you a one-minute story. Yesterday, we were getting ready to go for a walk, and my daughter decides uh, – she decided – she didn't decide. She actually didn't even answer me, and we were needing to leave so we could get back to have dinner. And then I did see her go back to the bathroom to do what? Okay. She brushed her hair at least five minutes and we were only going for a walk. And we actually didn't go for a walk. We decided to climb out in the woods and climb on trees that had owls in them. And sure? when, when we saw the crow, we decided to pick the feathers off the crow and we really liked doing that. It was so much fun. So the next thing we did was we found a baby crow and we decided that we wanted to, we found a lizard nest, but this wasn't just any lizard nest. This was a lizard nest that have bees in it too. Why were there bees in that lizard's nest? All right, pause there. So um, you did it once, Annie. Do this when you say it. Hold it up and say new choice. So they get both signals, especially on Zoom, because it can be a little unclear. Okay. I'm going to do a quick demo of it. Who's going to new choice me? And then, um, and I want at, at some instant, do it at least three times in a row. Um, I want, you're, Patricia, you're going to new choice me? Okay. Once there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She loved her golden hair. New and choice. She, she kind of hated it because she heard that uh, redheads were cooler and uh, her best friend was a redhead and she just wanted to be like her. Nice. Um, she was okay with her hair and she just put it up in a bun and she strutted out into the woods. And then she was excited to see. New choice. She wasn't excited at all. She just wanted to get away from the people that were behind her. And she was hungry to go on adventure and get away from the people behind her. And she found this cabin in the woods and she opened the door. Good choice. She kicked down the door <clears throat> and jumped in and go, I'm here. You love me. And no one was there. New choice. The three little bears, the three bears were there. <laughs> and they looked at her with surprise and a little bit of hunger in their eyes. New choice. They looked at her with welcome in. They were a very welcoming family and they set a plate, uh, a bowl of porridge for her, but she was not satisfied with her porridge. She wanted to taste all of their porridge. New choice. She was very polite because the bears were polite to her and we do what we treat each other how we're treated normally. Even this very spoiled little girl. Well, stop the story there so you get an idea. So who would like to, uh, Patricia, are you ready to go? Patricia. Patricia. <clears throat> you are so good at doing that freeze move. Okay, Annie, are you ready to tell your story? Okay. Um, okay. Jackie or Pamela, new choice, Annie. I'll do it. Okay, Pamela. 
But once upon a time, there was a daughter born to a king. New choice. Once upon a time, a king in a far off land had a son born, and this son was ugly. New choice. This son was very handsome. And three fairies in the kingdom came and said, three witches came to the cradle and said, we're going to give you a curse. New choice. They, they said, we're, we're going to uh, kill you right. We're going to, they said to the king, we're going to kill this child right now. And the king said, oh, please don't do that. New choice. The king said, okay, I would have rather had a daughter anyway. Can you bring it up right now? And the, the witches said, no, we don't want you to be happy. New choice. The witches said, sure. All right, time. Great job, Annie. Great job, that's, Annie. The, that's the best I've seen you do it. How did it feel? It felt pretty good. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. All right, Patricia or Jackie. Okay. Um, Jackie, I, you new choice, Patricia. Okay. I decided to take a walk because it was such a beautiful day, and I was running down the stairs to the ocean. And, new choice. And, and all of a sudden, I remembered that I left something in the car. So I turn around, and I ran up the stairs to the car, and then I realized that... New choice. Car, well, actually, I did see the car, but it was driving down the road, and I couldn't understand who the heck would be in my car since I had the keys. So I'm, I grabbed my, my phone, and I... New choice. And I um, put the phone back, and I started running down the road toward the car because it was going very slowly. And yet it stopped. Finally, it New stopped. Choice. I walked to the window and oh, New choice. I, turn around, I turned around and there was a man standing there. And he said, lady, is this your car? And I said, yes. New and choice. He said, well, it's actually not my car. It's actually a boat. <laughs> All right, stop right there. How did that feel, Patricia? Pretty good. I'm feeling so off today. I'm feeling like I'm not, you know, in Look, my... Even when you're off, you can bring it a little bit and just learn from it. I do give you, are you open a little bit of feedback on your choice to help you in the future? Of course. Okay. So look to pause as soon as they say new choice and change that particular element. Instead of saying and, leave the ands out as much as you can too. The, okay. like the little, uh, you looked up and I saw my car, new choice. I looked up and saw a tidal wave, new choice. I looked up and saw a grizzly bear, new choice. I looked up and saw my old flame. <laughs> <laughs> so when you change the actual element, so you put different visual pictures in there quickly, that makes it interesting for your audience. Okay. 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 Who, who wants a new choice? Jackie. I will. Okay, Patricia. Oh. It had rained the day before and today was perfectly sunny and clear. The perfect day to take out my new birthday present, because my rollerblades. Yeah, say, it, say it loud and put your hand up. Can I bring it? Okay. Go ahead, the Jack. Perfect the perfect day to take out my new present. New choice. The perfect day to take out my new pet, my little rat, Brutus. <laughs> and we decided to go on a walk. New choice. We decided to go on a jump. So we were scampering about and I had a little leash around his little neck and I saw um I had the leash around his tail so he couldn't go too far and I decided that he was getting tired so I picked him up New choice. 
I decided that he looked like he was near death. And I didn't know how I felt about that because he was a rat. I was kind of excited about that because I was a little girl and I was kind of tired of him. And I was afraid. I was... Um, <laughs> I was thinking that he would probably make a good snack for the cat next door. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna stop there though. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that uh, what did, what did you notice that you love that Jackie did that made you laugh a little bit? I don't know. The whole thing made me laugh. It, it was funny. <laughs> But one of the, my favorite things is this, and it, it works. She named the rat Brutus. <laughs> so giving funny, interesting names to the people in your stories really works. And, and some names are funnier than others. A rat named Brutus, that's kind of a funny name. Now, if it was a, a, a Doberman named Brutus, it probably wouldn't be as funny. <laughs> so doing things like that is a powerful thing to do. All right, we're at oh, we're at uh, one minute to ten thirty. Any final thoughts? Ever did everyone do new choice? Yeah. Yes. Thank okay. you. How did it feel? Fine. Good. Yeah. Um, we're going to keep doing it. You're going to get so this is so easy for you to do to make a new choice in any moment, and it's a great thing. It's a coaching tool, Annie, that you can say to yourself today. I'm so pissed off. And actually, I encourage you actually to be pissed off for a while and actually go big with it in a safe place, not at someone, not at yourself, just at the wind, and then make a new choice. A new choice for yourself in that moment that's an empowering choice. Any final thoughts for our time today? I just have to let you know that in the middle of the night when I was awake and tossing and turning and not feeling great, I was thinking about. Um, mysteries and how to start different stories i don't know that i remembered any of them today but <laughs> well one of my favorites is you know that the i wasn't looking the the rain was pelting sideways and i wasn't looking down well uh, i would like to say that the whole thing the mystery that i was working with today is one of the things that came into my head when i couldn't sleep and all my fears were coming up before I, you know, and so that this morning I made a choice to develop that actually in the middle of the night after I had relieved myself with my substance, I dreamed that thing up. Well, it, Annie hits it, at something, <clears throat> Annie hit at something pretty big there. A mystery can create it with any of your fears. Yeah. And you can make it funny, like my fear of Canva. Unfortunately, that's a little bit of a real fear that I haven't gotten over. <laughs> um, but I can laugh about it and cry about it a little bit inside <laughs> and yeah. dread it a little bit. So it's bring up your fears in a way that doesn't completely reveal them immediately. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. I end with a quote? Yes. I wanted to share. I kind of made this quote up when I was listening to Annie. Because I do this too. We all what if ourselves, right? So the quote is, when we what if ourselves always into a painful negative place, we rob ourselves of the present moment when all is well. And Annie, your present moment is gardening. It's yeah. being here. And so if we what if, the what ifs aren't true. It's what if my brother kicks me out? What if my credit cards, whatever. <laughs> It's what if I don't have food? How real are any of those what ifs? Right now in this moment, all is well. Yeah. If you go out in the garden when you're gardening, all is well. So just remember those what ifs are just BS. Mm -hmm. Well yeah. said, Pamela. And, and yeah. what if everything turns out even better than you expect? So it, there's two yeah. sides of every coin. So flip your stories around. And, and that's what your story, if you're telling yourself one story, you can tell another. What if everything turns out great? And here's yeah. another thing. You've handled every, the people in here have handled every what if in their life so far. Yeah. So every, 
every of the crazy what ifs that have happened actually happened and 90% of them to maybe 99% of them don't happen. But the ones that have happened, you've handled. Chris, I love the way you started the call. Who here has survived life so far? <laughs> we all yeah. have, yeah. And I'll probably play with that tomorrow with a group of hospitality CEOs. I want you guys to give yourself a big hand for, for playing full out, Annie for showing up, Jackie for showing up, and even hitting the reaction buttons, Jackie, and adding a chat and trying to help people out. And that's one of the biggest things actually to get out of fear. I'll share one of um, Virginia Knutson's fear recipe. Is it true? You ask yourself the question, is it true? Um, does everyone hold this belief? Or is this just a belief? I think number two. Number three, get into some kind of action that eliminates the fear, an actual productive action. And then number four, if none of that works, find a way to be of service to someone else. Get your body in service. Can you text us that? At some point in time. <laughs> yes, at some point. You might have to remind me again. I'm After this call, I'll be focused on attempting to figure out a way to put a PowerPoint presentation or some kind of presentation together and do not mention do it chris i'll take i'll take that off your plate i will send it because i wrote it down okay i love quotes okay thank you thank you mm -hmm. thank you all right thank you buddy. love you all love you guys bye. take care bye -bye. Chris, call me later bye. i will yep. okay bye. all right bye 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 patricia bye bye annie